Heyo everyone, Misha B. Barkin here. I just wanted two weeks. Two weeks of relaxation before diving in, making videos. But Netflix drops this absolute atomic bomb on us Wednesday morning and... I have no choice but to make a video about it. I let the iCarly thing go without making a video about it, and I, I just I just can't let that happen twice, you know? I mean, fuck, dude, just, just, just look at it. Look at it! Look at it! Look at it! I'm getting some serious Cats vibe from this video, no lie. In case you're not aware or not constantly on Twitter like I am, Netflix posted a trailer for a new show called Sexy Beasts, and, uh... We're gonna watch that today. Also to note, when looking this up, I also stumbled upon clips from an older show on A&E under the same name, Sexy Beasts, from Beast to Babe. So this appears to be a revamp of that. Now before we begin, I must confess, I have seen this before, just to make sure it wasn't like, I don't know, inappropriate to make a video about, and it's clean, so here we are. So yeah, this won't be a blind viewing, but it'll be only the second time I've seen it though, so uh, enjoy, I guess. Here we go. Welcome to the strangest blind date ever. Hey, how you doing? Damn. You doing? <laughs> Girl walks in. Damn. <laughs> Could you fall in love with someone based on personality alone? In the furry community, no. This is a joke, but we often have a problem with people falling in love with suits and ignoring their personality. So take it as a joke, but please consider that there is a person under the suit. Yeah. What is your ideal what Holy shit, he lobs that ball. That's not how you're supposed to bowl. <laughs> I feel like I feel like a normal person knows that, but just in case you don't, I uh <clears throat> I was a bowling professional in high school and that's holy shit, he threw it like a third of the way down the lane. Personality for me is everything. Ash first, personality second. You're Once again, the furry community, everybody. <laughs> Oh, I am not drunk enough to be watching this. This is really weird right now. <laughs> you think this is weird? Just check out the front page on Fur Affinity. Would you count this as a weird experience for you? Okay, no cap. If the forehead was smaller, I would risk it all for that, Fox. So... Come on, man. This is your one chance to impress her. What, give, a, give us your best line, buddy. I like your fin. Nah, maybe next episode. You're just like in love with the moment. Pull. Oh. Okay. Going shooting on a first date sounds lit. Like, that seems kind of fun. I'm not gonna lie. That being said, if I saw two people dressed up like they are with guns, I would be out of there. <laughs> oh my god, it's Vanoss Gaming, everybody. Remember Van Vanoss Gaming? There he is. He's in the show. Holy shit. I need to call my mom. That made me really uncomfortable. <laughs> Time has come. This is gonna be really tough for me. I can't choose both of you. I've made my decision. I don't understand. These people are, <laughs> these people are great. I don't understand how they can all be in the same room dressed like this and have a serious expression on their face. <laughs> also, how do they choose who they are? Do they get to choose what they dress up as or do they just walk in and they're like, Fuck it, you're an orca. <laughs> Thanks, I hate it. There's some parts that were left out of the video because I don't want to review the whole video. Go check it out for yourself if you want. Um, the link will be in the description down below. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, that was an experience. So I just want to clarify, this is all in good fun. I don't believe the series is trying to mock or poke fun at the furry community as a whole. That being said, some people will see this and think that this is appealing to furries. That must be what we're into, what we like, right? Ah, uh, no. Some people may genuinely look at this and think it's super cool and cute or sexy. I am not one of those people. But I do want to say that the costume design and makeup artists are genuinely talented in how well they did the dressing up of the contestants. It's not my thing in the slightest, but I can still recognize the talent it takes. But basically to sum it up, is this making fun of furries? No. Is this made to try and capitalize on the furry community? Probably. Will it? Uh, from what I've seen on furry Twitter, no. Much like the Cats movie, we, <laughs> we all kind of hate it and don't want any association with it. Some will see this as cool, and that's okay. The awesome thing about mundane media like this is that people can disagree and have their own opinions, and at the end of the day, life goes on. Nobody's harmed. Anyways, yeah, just decided to have a little fun with this one. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!